Hello, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Bramble Fox using items from the May Fox Box. And I've got this gorgeous title that I'm going to use today. It's Focus on the Good Stuff. And I love this because the O in focus is actually a little like camera lens shutter. Um, it's really, really cute detailing. Um, I love it. And um, the center of the O is actually a hexagon where all the shutter parts are, are in. Um, you'll probably see it in the close-ups at the end. But that inspired me to go with a hexagon layout today. Now, at the time of making it, I did have COVID. So um, I cut my hexagons off camera, just sat on the sofa with my little boy um, and then sort of came back together with everything um, on camera to actually create the layout. So I've cut um, a couple of hexagons from pattern papers or a few. I've got three of those. And then obviously my photo is a hexagon as well. Um, I had a play off camera um, just as I was cutting them with kind of design and what I wanted to do, um, which is why it looks like this layout is coming together super quick. Um, but in actual fact, it did take me a little bit of time um, off camera just while I was cutting things out to kind of come up with an idea of what I wanted, um, which is why all the bits and pieces are uh, conveniently already pulled out of packets and on my desk. So it wasn't as quick as it looked. Um, but yeah, COVID got me again, so um, creating on the sofa I was. Um, but yeah, I've pulled out some bits and pieces from the ephemera packs as well. I've got a couple of ducks there because my photos of my little boy, we'd gone for a walk to, uh, there's a lake, probably about five minute drive if that from our house without traffic um and there's two massive lakes and there's always loads of ducks geese and swans up there um it's one of our favorite places just when we're a bit bored at a weekend and we want to go out but we don't want to go too far or out for too long we tend to walk up to the lake um, and feed the ducks and that's what we've done on this day just me and my little boy my husband had been working um on the sunday so we just thought we'd pop up and feed the ducks for a little bit so i've got some ducks um that pattern paper hexagon i've cut out with the frog uh because it's sort of like an off-white color in the close-ups at the end it does make me laugh because it looks like i've just got a frog floating in mid-air above my photo but it is actually a bit of patterned paper um i haven't just randomly placed a frog up there um but it did make me giggle when i looked at the close-ups at the end and thought oh i've got a frog there now um didn't really think that one through very well but um, obviously uh, when you're looking at the the layout in an album um you can see it's a bit of pattern paper and there's other detailing on that paper as well so it doesn't look quite so random um, but those hexagons are going to stick down flat i've added a tiny bit of ink and color to my background that was using uh, fox cart i think it's number 53 the feathered lace um, it's one of the more recent ones i've got and i love it it's one of my favorites and it's fab for just adding a little bit of background detail um, and i've used a distress oxide in rustic wilderness there it's kind of like a darker shade of green to match the greens in my ephemera <coughs> excuse me um and then it's just a case of going around and getting these bits stuck in place so like i said the hexagons have gone down flat my photo has got a layer of foam behind it for that dimension and to keep it kind of the focal point of the page and then all my leaves and my cute little ducks are going to be raised up on foam as well I've got a couple of trees there that I've brought in and then I'm going to um, stick my title sort of underneath my photo. There's a nice gap for it there and I'm using a couple of the Bramble Fox epoxy flares. That's the um, the piece I've just stuck down there. So those are from um, Paper Snips number 25. So they come, if you're a Foxbox Plus subscriber, you will get Paper Snips number 25 in your Foxbox. Um, and those circular parts at the bottom are fantastic to use with the epoxy flare stickers. They're about an inch big. So I just use a one inch circle punch to punch those out. And then I stick my epoxy flare sticker on top. And I actually end up adding a second one in as well. I'm just going to cut that out now. Um, so the one down the bottom, it says Memory Maker. And the one up at the top, it says Just Incredible. And I love that they were black and white. They didn't bring in any more colour to the page, any random colours or anything. But I just love that pop of black on the page. And I love how the epoxy flare stickers make the, everything look shiny. And um, it's just another texture on the page, really pretty. And I love the um, dimension they've got as well. Not quite as dimensional as a metal flare. And sometimes I find those a bit two dimensional, but these are fantastic. Um, just the right amount of thickness for me. So I've added a couple of those and I've raised those up on foam as well, just to bring in some more dimension. 
then I've got a couple of dragonflies I've added on and I'm going to bring in a couple more bits from the paper snips now um I, there are on paper snips number 25 they're kind of like <coughs> excuse me um like paintbrush um streaks I can't think of the phrase the word I'm looking for here um like brush streaks that's the one I'm going for um they look like brush streaks and they've got writing on top and they're really lovely and I've got two here that matched my color scheme perfectly so one says so cool and the other one says a photo op and I've got those raised up on foam and then there was a couple of little like arrow pieces as well that again perfect colors so I thought why not bring these in and um, one says seen and noted and the other says love this so much and again those are raised up on foam for a little bit of dimension um, and I'm just going to extend that stenciling down by my title a bit because it was just looking like I'd plonked my title there um, as an afterthought there was nothing around it there's no ephemera around it or anything so I didn't want it to look like it was on its own um, so just by extending that stenciling down a little bit and now adding some splatters it's kind of made it part of the layout as opposed to just being there on its own and for those splatters again I've just used that rustic wilderness distress oxide and that is me done so nice quick and simple one obviously a little bit of planning um behind the scenes but it's even with that it did come together nice and quickly so super happy and i love the color of that perspective and you can just see there that little camera shutter in the eye um so super cute but yeah thanks for joining me i hope you've enjoyed this layout i'll leave some links in the description box for you to the bramble fox shop and the foxbox and foxbox plus subscription page if you are a foxbox plus subscriber as well as all the perspectives you also get your paper snips a stencil and i think you get some epoxy flare stickers as well um so some extra goodies for you if you are a plus subscriber and i'll also leave a link to our bramble fox friends facebook group as well so do head on over and join us there for loads of inspiration and challenges and there's a live every monday evening so lots of fun going on but thanks for joining me today i hope you've enjoyed the layout and i'll see you next time